Hey everybody, it's Chris Westergaard from The Language House. It's getting cold out there. Let me teach you a really fun icebreaker called da -da 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 -da, Snowball Fight. What you'll need for this are a couple of pieces of paper, a whiteboard that you can write questions on, and if you can, as a prop, a big poofy winter jacket. So let me show you how to make it work. I start this activity by having about five to eight icebreaker questions up on the board. I'm gonna come into the class and instead of talking about doing a game or playing a snowball fight or whatever, 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 I will simply demo these questions with the students, meaning I will ask one of the students to ask me these questions and I will give a brief example. Once that's done, I will then instruct the students to write their own answers on the piece of paper that I have in front of them. So every student gets their own piece of paper. Once that's done, I'll then tell the students to take the piece of paper and to crumble it into a ball. Don't mention snowball or anything like that. You want the snowball fight later on to be a surprise. Um, after that's done, I'll have, you know, maybe 15 snowballs in front of me if there's 15 students. I will then go to individual students and maybe grab a few of the snowballs. You don't need to grab them all, but maybe like four or so. And then right after that, I'm gonna leave the room. And outside of the room, I'm going to put on my big poofy jacket and then make kind of a bold entrance. It'll look something like this. Snowball fight! From there, I will take the snowballs that I have and I'll randomly start throwing them at different students, uh, thus creating a whole class snowball fight. This will go on for about 30 seconds or so. After that, I'll yell stop, and the students will all have to have one snowball on them at this point. They will then open up the piece of paper where they have a list of the answers from one of their classmates. And now they will ask questions and mingle with each other to find out whose paper they actually have. Once they find the correct person, they will then introduce this person to the entire class. This is a fun activity because you obviously have a lot of the physicality and kind of the chaos of creating a snowball fight. It's wonderful if you have, you know, 15 to 20 people. And aside from that, you also have quite a lot of language there. So don't do it where people just find the other person. You really wanna make sure that they're asking all of those questions because that's where you're gonna get the high student talking time. That's basically it. It's super effective. It works great if you wanna put some music on. And it's one of those activities where if you can pull it off on your first day, there's really like a lot of FOMO going on because the other classes that are taking place, they're gonna wonder like, what's going on in that class? How come people are laughing so much? And this is what you want on the first day. So thanks again and uh, let me know how it went in the comments.